YouTubers. Uh, this is Tarif Khan from uh, logodesign.net. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a negative space logo. And uh, if you see on my screen, there is a, a drawing. Uh, essentially, I'm trying to draw a logo which says Bandit. And if you look at the drawing, there's a face of uh, a bandit. Uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to use that face, the, the sketch in the blank area or the empty area of the alphabet A, which is somewhere in here, if you see in this area. Okay, now I've already selected my uh, the, the font and the text. I'm going to zoom out. Here's the word bandit. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this word bandit. I'm going to go to my sketch layer. I'm going to paste it in front. That is control F. And then I'm going to convert, uh, uh, create outlines of this word. That's control shift and O. All I need from this is just the alphabet A. I'm going to cut it off delete the rest paste it in front and then I'm gonna delete the uh, internals the, the inner part of the A by deleting the anchor points same with the lower ones just clean up the anchor points now I'm gonna increase the width from either side by cl uh, clicking on the anchors give it a, a nudge Next, I'm going to change the color of this triangle or the, the shape of the A, right? And then I'm going to flip it, convert it into an outline, lock it temporarily. Next, I'm going to trace out all the dark areas uh, uh, of, of this drawing. For example, you see this area. Okay, I'm going to use the, the pen tool. I'm going to start clicking. It's a, it's a rough uh, logo, it's not an actual logo for anybody, so I'm just going about, I'm not going with too much details, just plain clicks, as you can see, then I'm going to close this path, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same with the other side. Okay, this is the cheap part be using the, the the mouth the shadow of the mouth but that makes two items and I'm gonna flip the colors uh, sorry flip the fill from outline to fill change it to some color and I'm gonna create these two patches into a compound path that is control 8 okay Next, I'm going to draw the hat trim. Same thing, same process using the pen tool. Press the shift button so it's leveled. Easy way out. I'm gonna make a copy of the rim, okay? And then I'm gonna flip it, press the O button, and I'm gonna unite both of the items. There you go. Right, the next item on the drawing are the eyes. Again, just I'm just going. It's a short video, that's why I'm not going into the details. Next is the top of the hat. So I'm going to start here. Again, I'm going to flip this part. Make a copy, paste in front, press the O button. 
hover over the anchor click and then flip okay and uh, again unite the two now uh, let's see let me unlock everything let's lock the drawing again this part the the top of the hat uh, the rim we need to align it with the triangle of the A okay First, let's do something else. Um, let's change the color of this. I'm going to intersect the shape of the A. And let's flip the background with the outline. Select the two patches which we united. Sorry, made it into a compound path, path and then we'll uh, intersect them. Okay, this is how we got the patch. Now we are going to group the patch with the triangle along with the eyes and then we'll align the top of the hat and the rim, center line. There you go. Might have to shift the hat up. Now let's do it this way. Let's keep it as it is All right so we do not need the triangle anymore ungroup the whole thing sorry about that I've deleted the triangle let's see change the fill into a gray color I might want to top of the hat group the whole thing and make a copy paste it in front again copy the the the, the word bandit and this uh, the shape the graphic let's create a new layer paste it in front control shift o to create outlines of the word delete the alphabet A. Now uh, I see there's a difference in the height of the, the graphic and the font so I'm just gonna increase the height of that graphic. Right. Let's uh, make it all grey. Reduce the size. And uh, there you have it. It's uh, negative spaced uh, logo or graphic uh, we use uh, the white space of the the A uh, as much as we could and we placed in a, a, a person's face so yeah that about concludes um, this uh, tutorial and if you want a customized oh sorry for all your uh, diy logo design needs you can head on to our website which is logodesign.net is the url and you just enter in the keyword and search for the uh, objects that you want and start creating a free logo that's uh, about it and uh, if you like the video uh, uh, give it a thumbs up or uh, if you want to ask something or just drop uh, a comment that's about it bye bye thank you